Did you know AGI was already achieved by March of 2023? Probably not because it didn't happen. Surprise. So AGI doesn't exist, but it might soon. In one to five years soon. What I was saying is Yohei Nakajima built Baby AGI, which essentially is an autonomous LLM powered agent that you give it a goal and it continuously runs until it achieves that goal. As I said, it's powered by large language models and it also uses something called a vector database. So I recreated Jeffrey Kesnell's Baby AGI, but open source. But before I show you the demo of that running, I wanna show you the original Baby AGI. In this demo, Baby AGI's objective is to find topics for this person to write about on their Linux blog. That's a fairly complex task. So we can see Baby AGI breaking this objective into multiple steps and then organizing the steps. You can't see this, but Baby AGI is using this vector database as a form of memory and then trying to execute on them. The vector database is updated with the outcome of every attempt to execute a task, as well as any documents that we inject to it. Baby AGI can crudely learn from its experiences, it can plan ahead of time, and runs on its own autonomously. Basically, it loops through the process of making tasks and executing tasks until it achieves its goal. So basically, if we told it to make paper clips, it would destroy humanity. Baby AGI shows us that by wrapping LLMs with code that guides their prompts and possibly giving them tools, that we can create emergent AGI-like abilities. Within Baby AGI, there are multiple agents which are powered by LLMs. And specifically, it has a task list creation agent, it has a task list prioritizer agent, and it has a execution agent. The names are pretty self-explanatory, but the task list creator creates tasks the prioritizer makes sure the right tasks are attempted first, and the execution agent just tries to execute the tasks one by one. So we're gonna be using the Vicuña 13B model, which you can find just about anywhere, I'll link it below. I also wanna note whenever I say context in the demo, I just mean any information that's like retrieved from the vector database. I'm gonna do a quick demo, walk through the code, and then actually show off the baby AGI open source running. We set the task variable to the first task in the task list, then we set the result variable as the output of the execute task function, which we defined earlier, and essentially it's just going to take the vector store, um, get context, get the objective, and set the task. So over here, we can see where we defined execute task earlier, and what it's going to do is the context variable is going to be pulled from the, the vector store. There's a function get top task. It just finds the most similar things related to the objective that are in there. So that gets us the, the relevant context. And then this function will return whatever the output of this other function is execution prompt, which is just up here. And now we can actually see what the message going to the LLM looks like. And it takes the objective variable, the context variable, and the task variable and just passes it to the LLM to be completed, chat completed. And that will be our, our result. That will be that final output. So result ends up just being the output of the LLM when we give it context, the objective, and the task. And then also like in the form of the prompt which was defined earlier, I was just showing you. Then we store the result within the function vector store add texts. The text is embedded and then put in the vector database. Then the task creation agent makes new tasks. We can see how the, cre the, the creation agent, which is effectively this function, create underscore tasks, is passed the result, the task description, the current task list, and the objective. We could see how the create tasks functions was defined. It will spit out the list, list of tasks, which is determined by primarily the function creation underscore prompt, which is just above here. And again, we could see the actual message that is like sent to the LLM to make this. We could see in the user prompt part how we tell the, the agent what it does, the objective, the result, the task description, and complete tasks. And we do this with all of the agents. It's just we give them this structure telling them what they do with the, the variables in it so it changes depending on what your objective or what the results of a, a task was. The final step is reprioritizing the tasks. I figure you already get, get what's going on here. Um, once that's done, it's going to go back. It, this is just a loop, so it's going to pull the first task, execute, store the results, create new tasks, reprioritize the task list, and it's just going to keep doing that. Let's try out the objective of make a pancake. So it starts off first task for the execution agent. You can tell by the system prompt that it's, or the user prompt that it's an execution agent. It starts off with its first task of making a to-do to list. We could see the variables that we pass to the system are highlighted in blue and the LLM generated part is highlighted in green.
So the execution agent can't make my pancake, but it is telling me all of the ingredients specifically that I need, just kind of as a, an adaptive ability, which I think is pretty neat. I'm gonna stop it here because we're not gonna see anything exceptional with the- I wanna draw the analogy here to humans. We've had the same room for many thousands of years. And one of the, one of the sides of the developments that we've made as a civilization is the rules or frameworks that we interact with each other about. For example, with the same physical and cognitive resources that we've always had, we got better at not starving to death. We could have person A gets berries and makes spears and person B uses those spears and goes hunting. Or whether it's humans or large language models, when you have intelligent bodies interacting under predefined rules and cooperating, you multiply the total intelligence that's there. Baby AGI only could work because of how strong large language models are today. Anyways, large language models are trained by being fed a bunch of text data. The LLM can't see what the next words are in any particular sequence are, but it can see what the previous words are, and then it tries to predict what those next words are. Because we have the text data of what those words are actually supposed to be, we're able to tell the LLM how right or wrong it was, and that allows us to train it. Considering that these LLMs are trained on sometimes trillions of words repeatedly, it would make sense that they get pretty good at predicting what the next word in a sequence is supposed to be. And because words have complex relationships, that allows these LLMs to say complex and meaningful things. So let's summarize. We could wrap LLMs in code in a way that makes them act as an agent, and we could also have multiple of these agents interacting with each other, and by doing this, we increase the performance of them. And then also, baby AGIs, you know, the, the project itself, has AGI-like emergent abilities because of this code wrapping, but is not actually AGI yet. So that's it, the collab I used for the demo, the credits, my personal website, it's all linked below, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.